How is Riyaz different from practice? A practice usually has an end goal related to internalizing something new or developing body memory. Riyaz is an intimate, agenda-less conversation with oneself and one's art form which is repeated over and over. You need to cajole and prepare your body, then gently invite the form in. You cannot command your body into submission. It is very intimate and essentially a solo practice with no other agenda except developing an inner witness. The witnessing gets subtler and subtler as the practice evolves. Riyaz is a deepening of existing knowledge. There is no new learning except looking at the same thing from multiple lenses with a sense of wonder because it is always new, just as you are new in each new moment. The ways of achieving this are innumerable. There cannot be one way. In fact, you are the cook and the relisher of your own riyas, so you must design and fine-tune it to suit you, right from the preparation to the ingredients to the stirring and the release of the nectar. The ras. Once you taste the nectar, you're hooked. In fact, I've observed when I feel it is pressing to give someone advice on how they must do riyas, the advice is most often applicable to me. In riyas, there are two lenses of attention. One is zoomed in on a body part or breath or a beat or a point in space with a tunnel vision focus and you fine tune this focus. The other is an expansive gaze which sees you as a body in space or a dancer in the city or a human being in the universe, gloriously present with all your asymmetries and flaws but also interrelated to others, never alone. How much can one zoom out? It's limitless really and that's the promise of the practice when your kinesphere is yours to experience as far as your imagination can take you. The two gazes are not either or. With practice, we begin to use them both simultaneously. To reach this point though, one must learn to see oneself in the present moment, in all one's flaws and imperfections without judgment. And just this detached seeing will facilitate your practice. Own your riyas. Nobody can tell you how much is too much. It is your body and your practice. Initially, practicing as a community helps. But even in a group, riyas is essentially a solo practice. A communion with your most expansive, most compassionate self. Raz Riyaz Ka